I moved to Florida. Check out this view. Welcome to my home away from home. Home for me is still in Ohio, but as you guys know, it's cold, wet, and dreary up there, which doesn't really make it much fun for riding motorcycles. So welcome to my apartment that I'm gonna be living in. We have a lot of really exciting things that I need to get into in this video, but first. I actually don't have a bike with me yet, but I think it's time to go pick it up. I officially have two wheels right behind the camera right now. I'm excited to show you guys what we got going on, but I'm really bummed to tell you what happened to it. Here's my bike. Yep, we got the BMW R18 Bagger down here in Florida with me, but we had a little issue. Look at this. Yep, that's not good, you guys. It really broke my heart to have to show you that. I gotta kind of go over this bike, make sure it's ready for the Florida weather, you know, check the tire pressures, go over everything and make sure it's still running very well. I'll tell you what's going on. I did not ride this motorcycle down here. I had it shipped, it was damaged in shipping, which is very unfortunate. So I gotta kind of jump through some hoops and file a claim and do all of that. Not fun stuff, but hey man, I, I, it really is a part of the game when you take that risk shipping things instead of just riding them. Luckily, the motorcycle was not damaged enough that it was unrideable, and that's honestly all I care about. The one thing that I do hope nobody thinks is I hope nobody thinks that I am the one who like crashed the bike and made it look like that, because that just hurts my ego if people think that. So, all right, let's dive into it. Actually, we are we're going somewhere very special, very fun right now. A certain um, a doctor actually texted me. To, well, he's actually a surgeon. He's not he's not an actual doctor. He's a surgeon. And uh, he texted me and invited me somewhere. So we're gonna go there right now. And I'll tell you that where we're going here in a second. But for now, I'm just gonna sit here and kind of explain what the hell is going on and what the hell I'm doing in Florida. Okay, I wanted to go ahead and turn you guys on so we can have a conversation because it has been well over a month since I have done any kind of motorcycle vlog style video on this channel. All right, so long story short, a couple months ago, I, well, November, November of 2022, I was very actively thinking of what am I gonna do this winter? I, the winters have just gotten so awful in Ohio. They're so temperamental and you just, it's not enjoyable. Yes, you can ride, you can ride year round, the right gear, right tires, yes, absolutely. It's not enjoyable for me, it's not worth it. I don't wanna hop on a bike and make videos if I'm having a bad time doing it. So I'm like, all right, the time has come. We need to go somewhere warm. And I've actually been doing this for a while. The past couple winters now, I will fly down to Florida. I'll hang out with my friends down here. Someone will loan me one of their bikes and I'll just ride and record and have some content. This time I said, you know, I, I love it when my friends invite me to stay, but that's a burden. I'm gonna find my own place. So I started looking for Airbnbs and I was gonna rent an Airbnb for an entire month. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I am down here for the entire month of January. Now, probably one of the first questions you're asking yourself is, is my husband with me? Did Jordan come with me? Unfortunately, no, uh, Jordan still works a full-time job. He couldn't get the kind of time to take time off like that. I will say we are, you know, if this month goes well, this is kind of like a trial period for me. You know, I, I'm just gonna stay down here, um, maybe check out the market, see what's going on. Um, this is going to hopefully in the future seep into more of a snowbird lifestyle for us. And I've talked to you guys, I'm nowhere near ready to sell my house and move from Ohio. Um, but in the winter time, that is very much a desirable option for us. So unfortunately, no, Jordan isn't here with me. I've only been down here for like a day right now while I'm fil filming this video. So I don't miss him like a whole lot just yet, but I know just within another 24 to 48 hours, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna miss him so much. And my little Midgey, he has been sending me photos though. Here are a couple of photos of my husband and our cat. And it's like, I live for those pictures, man. I did have my BMW shipped down. And the reason I had the BMW shipped down instead of any of my other motorcycles is because I never got the opportunity to take this bike on a road trip last year. It just didn't work out with timing. It didn't work out with the service intervals of the motorcycle being brand new. And so I was talking to my contact at BMW 
and I was like, yeah, I've been looking at um, just taking it, like somehow trailering the BMW or something. Like, I don't know how I'm going to get it there. I don't have a trailer, but I'm going to figure it out. I want to take the BMW to Florida for a month. And they were like, oh, we ship bikes all the time. You know, why don't we just ship it for you? And I was like, for real? Like, I just forget that that's an option because I always ride everywhere. And so I was like, dude, hell yeah, that would be amazing. Cause since I'm here for an entire month, I, I need my car too, you know, like grocery shopping, rainy days, just stuff like that. It's like, I can't take the motorcycle absolutely everywhere if I don't have to. So we did ship the bike down again. It got damaged in shipping, but it arrived perfectly on time. They picked it up on time. Everything was great. Just a little dented up. <laughs> that is the introduction to why I'm in Florida. And I'm gonna tell you what guys, just like every other kind of road trip or travel video that I do, I have no plans. I do have a couple plans. I do have like one or two small things that I will be doing while I'm down here. But for the majority of it, I just want to be here. I wanna feel like a resident. I wanna go explore and do things that the locals do and ride to local places and just really immerse myself into an amazing motorcycle culture that exists here in the Sunshine State. What are we doing right now? Mr. Shade Tree Surgeon texted me yesterday and said, hey, come to Tampa to the Gibb Town Bike Fest. And that's what I'm doing, riding over to Tampa and we're gonna go check out the Gibb Town Bike Fest. Let's go. under my eyes we stayed up way past my bedtime last night so shade tree surgeon and i are actually hopping on the motorcycles and we're gonna go get some food i am so hungry so let's hop on the bike and head out josh i'm digging the outfit my guy no damn looking good uh -oh, uh -oh. the surgeon has to do surgery to get the motorcycle running fun. I like watching you struggle. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. just hang out more. Okay, I know. Every day. You do. Every day it's a struggle. I can work past Not on the purpose. African existential crisis that I have every morning in bed before I get out. Somehow I managed to make it. Proud of you. I don't need your pride. I don't need you to be proud of me. I don't need your validation. My own man. It is nice. I keep giving it. I'm going to keep not appreciating it, you know, every time you do it, but I want you to keep on doing it. Okay. You know what I mean? No. All right, good. This 
is fun. It looks fake, you guys. This looks not real. Are you looking for the, what are you looking for? As per usual, we had a last moment change of plans and I think I'm okay with that. This place is beautiful. You know what's crazy? Oh yeah. She's so hungry. Don't Wouldn't it be please, funny don't. if I just threw it on the ground? No. Yes. Get away. <laughs> Get away. Damn it, Josh. I wouldn't do that. Then someone would have to clean it up. Oh, all right, well. <laughs> Blockheaded Bragger Bro showed up, and we're not waiting for them. I'm so hungry. Snot from a rock, baby. Oh, man. That was a very much needed delicious lunch. Now, the real question is whether or not Josh's Ducati is going to start again, so. And we're off. Oh, so I totally missed it earlier, you guys. So again, Josh completely lied to me and said that we were gonna go get chicken wings. And then we ended up just going for a gorgeous ride around the bay here in Tampa. And I didn't have my GoPro on because I thought we were just going around the corner. Well, it was lovely and it was just a perfect excuse to really just kind of like disconnect. I didn't have any music going. I was just enjoying the ride. And that's something I wanted to tell you guys. I know it's a lot of people say like, oh, you, you don't ride anymore. You don't enjoy your ride. You just film. I ride for myself so much. Like I would so much rather take the GoPro off of the helmet. But and then like some of the beautiful things that I saw today and the funny things that Josh did. And I just I don't have that memory now. It's just living all up in my head. So, yeah, it was uh, kind of unexpected. Blockhead and Bagger Bro called me and they were like, hey, are you still in Tampa? We're coming over. I was like, oh, my God. OK, let's go. So they met up with us, had some lunch and uh, I'm tired. I, I stayed the night with Josh and Shay last night and it um, they made me stay up way, 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 way past my bedtime. And I'm just so tired. I need at least eight to ten hours of sleep every single night. And uh, I think I barely got four hours last night. So I'm tired. No amount of cold brew can help me today. I just need to go to bed. But we're gonna head back over to the house and just kind of hang out. I'm gonna go hang out with my friends. Is this a stab and grab? Oh! I've never been to the stab and grab. Ah, you, you really do like me take all the girls here huh all right baby's first time at the stab and grab we survived yeah. you look so you honestly you guys look cool as hell you, mean pew? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> hey, you gotta kickstart it right yo what are you keeping that purple box you got a cup in that <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yes. Oh, don't whiskey it up. Oh, she's great. It's tall. <laughs> oh my god. All right, well, we are sitting inside, relaxing, having a couple beers, and uh, Josh makes us watch his own YouTube videos. Can you think of any better entertainment? Getting to watch my videos with me. I mean, you're welcome. Wow. I mean, I don't feel problem watching Josh's videos. I mean, it's a See, thank you. Thank you. Unless it's like 40 minutes, goddamn. He's going to sit on me. 45 minute video. At least his couch is comfortable. I'm going to take a nap. See you guys in the morning. It is the next morning. It's uh, about 6 20 in the morning if I. I am correct. Yep, that, that clock's wrong. 6.30 in the morning, and I have to make the hour and a half ride back to Orlando. My seat's all wet, <laughs> so I gotta wipe my seat off first. That's not gonna be comfortable, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead, get the bike going, and turn on the heated seat. That'll help it out. Heating, 
Let's get the heat of grips going. Let's do four. And then heated seat. Yeah. Three is pretty good. The seat is powerful. All right. Let's hit the road. Goodbye, Shade Tree Army motorcycles. It's been real. But the best part about riding solo is I know where I'm going. <clears throat> well, before I hop on the highway, I gotta stop and get some gas. Alright, let's fill her up. It's gonna be such a cold ride, man. It's chilly. All I'm in is a mesh jacket and a hoodie. My seat's already warming up and drying pretty good. Well, this is kind of pretty. I get to ride into the sunrise. Probably here in about 20 minutes. I'm not gonna be as happy because it's, I'm gonna be blind. <laughs> it is pretty though. Yep, definitely chilly. I did not, um, so I, thank you again to Josh and Shay for inviting me over to their home. Uh, I didn't realize I was gonna stay for two nights. I was just gonna go over there for the Give Town event and have some fun with that. And then of course, like the next day, we just kind of hung out and went to eat lunch, did some riding, Blockhead and Bagger Bro came over and it was like, oh, you might as well stay and hang out for the live stream and have dinner. And the next thing you know, I'm waking up at 6 a.m. on a Monday, like, well, time to go back, time to get some work done. <laughs> well, unfortunately my GoPro died on the absolutely beautiful beautiful morning sunrise cruise back to my Airbnb here in Central Florida. Um, I didn't know Florida had roads that pretty, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, when I decided to come stay down here, I was kind of sad because I was just thinking that it was just gonna be straight, flat roads with 10 hour long intersection lights everywhere, but that was a beautiful morning ride back from Tampa to Orlando. Unfortunately, I was only in a mesh jacket and it was kind of cold, so it wasn't no 25 degrees Fahrenheit, but it was still chilly. If you haven't done so already, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Um, I will ask if this is the very first time you're watching my channel, don't subscribe yet. Don't do it. Wait until at least my third video and then you can tell me if you like me enough to stick around. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and until my next one, you be good and I will see you later. <laughs>